another stopover. This is not even the second waterfall, but they have mini cascades. But look at the water, it's so clear. Look at how tranquil. Walking to the third waterfall. It's like a fairy paradise. There's Mars. Some short video clips of us walking back. Look at how clear the water is. There's the bridge. So a lot of people go canyoning here. It sort of reminds me of Dominican Republic where there's 24 waterfalls. Now at my age, I'm too scared to jump and all that. on the side of the road. There's full moon last night. Look at palm trees. And by the beach. It's low tide right now. So I gotta brush my teeth and um, it's not even six yet. We're head out. Um, to the hot springs and more waterfalls.
but we decided to split it sailing gypsy christine and gypsy hobo because i have so many aspects going on with the traveling being a gypsy and a hobo being a sailor and sailing the world it's just a lot of subjects a lot of pictures so my helper decided to split it in two so if anything happens with my YouTube at least one stays open you can find my uncensored videos on Vimeo Gypsy Christine so that's why when you look at these videos you're like is that the same person yes before I try to split my work under free spirit Christine and keep my nudity and my travels with family they don't like what I'm doing separate but now it's just gonna be gypsy Christine on YouTube because apparently we can't stay on promoting non-sexual naturism and if you look at my videos there's nothing going on sexually but this is the society and the um, world we live in so we're still fighting that so YouTube will be all about sailing and gypsy hobo. So that's why if you see these two channels, it's me, Christine. So my name is Christine and you'll probably see the gypsy Christine in front of it because it's just easier to make people remember the name. But gypsy Christine, I'm combining my names and it's me I've been traveling this way for maybe 12 years I think maybe 13 years I can't remember as gypsies go and hobos go that's my channel please subscribe and thank you please subscribe to sailing gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do, please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you. in Tahiti. What's the story you found yourself? It goes straight through. Watch your knees when these don't get through the mud. Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> hit anything when sharp. You slip it, go through you like. So, oh my god. Uh, I woke up early to go to the north side of the island hitchhiking. Met great people. But look at that's Tahiti Itty. Um, I could go there, but I went there two days ago. But look at how, like, look at the water. And the palm trees, like over here, it's so beautiful here. So I'm just gonna make my way to the north side today, hitchhiking the um, waterfalls and um, Pepino, and I'm gonna camp out. So I love to, I spotted, are you a duck? I think you're a duck. A duck? Take a bath. Take a bath, ducky. Don't be shy. Well, okay, before I interrupted the bath, the duck was taking mm, How great is this? Just like walking on the road and look at this view. I'm being a little bit hit, hungover, which is great. And the beach that way. And 
Just people like stopping to see if I need a ride. I love Tahiti. Look at how cool is this. I found a swing and a hammock and a beautiful oh wait, um, garden. Very nautical. Um, it's someone's garden, but I think it's okay. Um, and the beach. How wonderful is this, Tahiti? And my feet. And I am swinging. My, one of my favorite things to do. It's such a gorgeous. And this is Slim. I met them at the other waterfall. I'm doing video. Is that awesome? This um, local pork dish tastes like tabaka. Exactly, but without the egg. Oh. Okay. And this is the, um, the sashimi, um, Asian style, without the coconut. Okay.
um, my helper can catch up with a lot of the videos and um, do current videos. So now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information. So this is going to be confusing for you guys. So it's going to be like back, forth, back, forth, um, past, future, oh, present, past, present. So hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game. So that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so I'm unplanned, unorganized, but hopefully we get more videos out. And thank you for watching because YouTube has closed down many channels, so it's hard to get momentum going. But anyone, thank you for watching my crazy travels. Um, beautiful black sand beach but look at what I found swing that's what I needed to relax myself enjoy the view and play like a so this is the beach that was really stunning yesterday when the Sun was out um, today's cloudy you can't see the beauty of it um, my footprints look at um, how deep it is and look at black sand Okay, wait, wait, oops. See how deep that is? See? Ooh. I don't know about this swing. It's very low. I don't think I can swing on it, but we'll try. Okay, this swing, um, I'm just touching sand. But if I could swing, it would be really beautiful background. Um, this one family. And it's really nice. Look at how nice the kids climbing and swimming. And look at this nice surprise, a little uh, freshwater lagoon. So like Dominican Republic, uh, what's that beach, uh, Playa de Rincon. Yeah, no sun today, but the water's really blue, black sand, footprints, deep, deep sand. Back there is the waterfalls I went yesterday. I don't know if I can go topless here, but I really don't care. I'm just going to lay out and enjoy whatever heat there is. So, that rock is the spot to be. You jump in, there's families before, now there's boys. It's getting dark. There's like these little annoying mosquitoes. And baby raindrops.
um, my helper can catch up with a lot of the videos and um, do current videos. So now we have more of a plan on me sending him more current information. So this is going to be confusing for you guys. So it's going to be like back, forth, back, forth, um, past, future, oh, present, past, present. So hopefully you guys can keep up and it's sort of like a mind game. So that's where I'm at. I'm a gypsy hobo, so I'm unplanned, unorganized, but hopefully we get more videos out. And thank you for watching because YouTube has closed down many channels, so it's hard to get momentum going. But anyone, thank you for watching my crazy travels. driving me. Um, hopefully we get to see that soon. So here's another mountain that we're driving by. So many of them. Beautiful. Pictures. So we're just driving along a dirt road. Funny, Bon Jovi came on, um, but I don't remember the name of the song. It's one of my favorites from him. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, ooh, so many beautiful views. Wow. Say hi. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And handsome. Oh. oh, I guess this song is I'll Always Love You. I had um, the song last year on my iPod or my cell phone that I listened to over and over because that was the only song I had. Ooh. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. The beach. Okay, I guess we're going to go take pictures. 
It's another video. It's gorgeous. It's like panoramic. I'm not going to be able to get it off with pictures. So, video with um, Bon Jovi in the background. That's spectacular. Ooh, this one too. Gorgeous. Crazy gorgeous. Sorry, I'm going fast because we're walking. Here's my new friend. Oh, wow. Okay, no more video. Another video. Just of all the mountains. It's incredible here. So nice. My hitch, um, people who picked up hitchhiking took me here. And it's like dirt road. Alright, gorgeous. And wait for this. Woo. So that's all around. I'm so happy that I'm here. No. How hilarious. It is Bon Jovi CD or tape. And I love these songs. So all my videos, awesome with the songs. You can't get better than this. But there's no bed of roses. Bed of exotic flowers, which is even better. No thorns. Or, um, red mud. This is Kat. She's using her litter box that Tom made from the radar. Is that cool? And she's inside scratching. Oh, she. I'm on the boat Karaka and this is where I sleep outside and this is the view. Do you see the mountains? And it's sprinkling right now so it's actually much brighter usually. And here's the room and where I sleep and you see my feet. At night time. There's Tom um, working on his jewelry. So this is Kat on Karaka. And she loves being massaged. See how happy she looks? I'm gonna do this for like 10 20 minutes and then she'll like move all around. And yesterday she's in heat so she's making a lot of noises. And she has to be drugged. How happy she looks. Meow meow.
Hello. 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 Hello
I've never really made crepes, but I've seen people make it. And it has to be this consistency. Like watery. No, like watery thick. Mm -hmm. Not like bread. So let's see. So when it makes bubbles. Sorry, it take us a long time. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I make it first in this one and after I, I do one side on this and then oh, the other side. Oh, okay. Because this one is very bad. But so, if it's already mm -hmm. cooked in one side, it's okay. So Fabian is French, so he should be able to make crepes. <laughs> How do you know when to flip them? Um, it has to be. Okay. I wait for the border, for the border of the pancake to be crispy, a little bit burned. Yeah, little oh, bit okay. And like this, it's easier to to flip. Mm -hmm. At this beach, early in the morning, they have people coming with uh, traditional music and they do um, traditional dancing like um, the luau or it's not even the luau but do you see them dancing? So nice! And if, I've had a few other people do this. So it'd be nice to go to the beach and just dance. It's raining! I'm at the Dolphin Center. I don't know if you see that dolphin swimming around. Uh. It's raining a lot in Marea. I'm at the Intercontinental Hotel. I'm looking at the dolphins, the turtles, and they feed the sharks and the rays, but that's sort of further out. I don't know if I want to swim out there. Um, so today is a pretty gray, rainy day. <laughs> This is the Intercontinental Turtle Reserve. You see those three turtles? And they have like little small ones. Cute. This is their quarantine. Different sizes. They're feeding them. Very sad. This one in the corner over there is just sort of like hanging out and looks sort of dead and tired. Look at that one's trying to escape. Help me, help me. Remember Chi? You named Koi fish after us and then they started dying. I wonder if he's still alive. Hmm. Cute color. Orange, like Halloween colors. Where's that one? Oh yeah, see the colors. The sea turtle clinic in Morea. You see that little one? Just swimming. At the Intercontinental Hotel in Morea, this is cute. It's like a maze. Of hedges, do you see that? Um, and I guess concentric circles. Walk around, get lost. So it's sort of cool in the middle of nowhere. It's probably the nature park that nobody goes to because there's like mango trees, breadfruit, lots of things. See, I'm just walking through a maze. That's cute. 
It's early morning in Morea. I'm kayaking. Here's all the boats. Ooh, I think I see a rainbow. A, little, a small one. I wonder if I can capture that. See the mist? That's a rainbow. It's a very cloudy day. But the sun is coming up. See? I'm heading towards the bungalows over here, Hilton, to take pictures for my sister. I'm part of the rainbow. The end. Where the gold is. Cool. You see that? But I don't see the rest of it. And that's Apanahu Bay. Look at the clarity of the water. It's amazing. My feet, hello. It's so bright. I'm heading towards the bungalows. Right there. Morea, I made it to the Hilton bungalows. I don't want to get too close because we're, people are sleeping. Uh -huh. See? Um, I need to take pictures, but I don't have anyone to take pictures of me. I come back. Look at the water. These beach bungalows are so much prettier than the intercontinental. I'm very close. I'll go around. I think no one's staying here because the balcony looks very clean. Ooh, outdoor shower. You can do lots with outdoor shower. Pretty cute. So this for Elong, she stayed in one of the bungalows on her honeymoon with David, like what, 14 years ago? 15? Okay, more pictures. Ah, oh, Okay, um... Like, but this is integral in uh, English or not? Wheat flour and regular flour, Fabian is mixing that for his crumble. Yeah, because it's more interesting like for the diet, for your body, it's more interesting to have a complete flour than... The white. texture. Uh, yeah, and the nutriment, Taste. the nutriment, and all the the fiber. Yeah, that's it. So you can, <laughs> so you can go to the bathroom easily. <laughs> like uh, eight spoon of flour and then six uh, spoon of sugar. Um, eight spoons of white flour or combined? Uh, each like four of the plain one and four of the integral one. Okay, and then how much butter? Uh, like this. I think. So two big Too globs. Big, yeah, maybe a little bit more. It's okay. good if it's full of butter. It's good. Okay, so two and a half globs. And this is the canned butter, so it's already melted. Yeah, that's easier. So this is a good texture for the crumble. Not too much butter, he added flour. So it's not even that much that you have to put in to it's, make a crumble. It's making rocks, so it's good. It's making what? Rocks. Little pieces maybe? Balls. Balls. Balls? Yeah. Rocks. <laughs> a rock? Like a oh, rocks. Rock. Oh, 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 so you put rocks um, like that. It's good to have rocks. Oh yeah, to make the crumble. It's good. No. Oh. Okay, let me... So Fabian's making coconut milk. It's sort of dark in here. Um, so you use like a cloth, cheese cloth, and then you grate the coconut. It has to be brown coconut. Yeah? brown coconut yeah. okay and then you squeeze it oh this is a lot of work I will probably never do this but it's the best coconut milk oh yeah and then we, we use that you and can then use this after yeah. a pastry or I could have put this in the crumble if oh you can't on top the, yeah in the top why not oh so this boat does all these interesting things so yeah look now because well, if you want oh, okay Take this. It's so dark in here, yeah, yeah. So like a cheese cloth or a clean cloth. Yeah, anything clean. Even a t-shirt if okay. it's clean. But uh, you don't have to smell the yeah armpit the detergent inside. Like if it's you have to wash it with fresh water. Okay, on these grease. Oh, so as coconut milk. I think um, Tom said you have to do a brown coconut, an uh, old and old coconut. Yeah, ah, yeah, in this, uh, yeah, in this way. It's not a green one or a yellow one. Voila! Et voilà. The crumble is finished, but for some reason the apricots and the peach had a lot of um, liquid, so it's a little sticky. It looks, deli it smells good. Mmm. And here's Dave. In the corner daydreaming about God knows what. Robin. Oh yeah. 
So Fabian um, just mix cornstarch just with a uh, hot liquid or just curry. A bit sort of hot liquid. And then he didn't even put that much cornstarch and look at it, it's so thick. I haven't ever been doing this. So it's amazing. Thank <laughs> you. 
please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching. Yay, I'm excited. And yes, that's Roxy. And that's... You want some water? Um, no, I'm good. Okay. Look at how clear the water is. So pretty. It's a resort up there. We're too cheap to pay to walk through it, so we just pay to be on the beach. Very sunny day. Great diving. I give it a 10. 50 pesos to be on the beach. Want some pictures with her? Like, yeah, come on.